Hi guys, Brick Nat here. In this video we're going to be looking at a LEGO City set and this one is set number 60203. It's called the Ski Resort. Comes with 806 pieces and retails in the UK for £74.99. So, as we can see, it's got three vehicles. It's got the Jeep with the detachable snowplow, helicopter, little snowmobile. It's also got like a little uh, coffee stand here, ski patrol base, a sports shop, and it's got a half pipe. And it's got, I can't remember what skaters call that. It's not like a grinding bar thing. We've got snowboarder, we've got someone with a set of skis, we've got a little doggy. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 figures. 12 if we count the dog and 13 if we count the snowman. And we also have another... Uh, a brick separator and a pile of extra pieces. Just various sort of one by one studs and tiles and plates and there's actually a spare syringe there and a spare ice pick, a spare ski stick. I, there is a reason Lego include extras like that and I cannot remember what they are. Right. So, as always, I'm going to go through the minifigures first and I'm going to start this end and work along and I'll put them over there out of our way and then I'll do the figures and then we'll do the building. So I'm going to work from the front back. So, I'm going to start with this dude. I do like his torso there. Nice torso, nice picture. I can't quite see what it's meant to be. B. Oh yes I can. It's like um, snowy peaks or something, snowy mountains. Nice jacket, it's got um, plenty of detail on it. Two little pockets on the back. It's got some detail as well. Some of these have alternate faces, does he? No, he doesn't have an alternate face. So it's just him as he is. And our next one I think these two are meant to be a pair because they're almost identical. So here's a, our first female of the set. And uh, does she have an alternate face? Nope. But she has got a nice orange scarf. A nice sweater underneath there with some nice pattern. The same pattern on the back there. Nice dark green set of legs there. It's one of my... I'm not a lover of green but I do like the dark green. Right, who's next? Our second lady of the set. She's got like a very, um, what do they call that, a woolly hat. I can't remember what they call the woolly hat now, it's a specific name for it. Oh, no, I thought she had an alternate face, but she doesn't. She's got the same scarf piece, but she's got a jacket on. And it looks like a shirt underneath or something. There's a little bit of printing on the back there, a little bit of detail. Right, next we've got our three Ski Patrol, so I'm going to take his helmet off, so here's the first one. And again, they've got the nice shiny reflective stripes on the front there and the little medical symbol. Some nice details with the pockets. Same on the back, it's got the shiny stripes with a big medical symbol. And I do like this style of helmet. It's got like goggles on there instead of um, a visor. A bit like a real life motocross helmet. Right, so we then have the female on the uh, ski patrol team. Again, nice baseball cap with the moulded on hair. It's all one mould. I do like that. And uh, what have we got on the front? We've got the reflective stripes again and a little the medical badge, same on the back. I think it's the same torso as the other one. Not quite. This part of the torso is actually different. Above my finger. Uh, yeah. 
She's the only one with a different torso though. This this one is exactly the same. I think this one is a female as well. Got quite a few females in this set. So it's the same as the other one, just got the uh, female head on rather than a a male head. Yep, definitely a female. So, so far we've actually had four females and only two guys. Come on guys, we're outnumbered. <laughs> Here's the helicopter pilot. Now he looks like the um, like bad cop from the Lego movie, doesn't he, with those shades? I'm sure, no he hasn't got an alternate face either. I'm sure some of these had an alternate face. Either that or I'm just imagining it. Got a nice, uh, sort of a tan waistcoat, lots of detail on the front there. I do like the detail. For some reason he's got a pocket on his back. I'm not quite sure how he would reach that, but never mind. Right, we've also got two little children. With the non-bending legs. So we've got this little one here with a little... I don't know what they call that hat. It's the one that covers the ears. Well, I suppose they both do. <laughs> little zips on the pockets there. It's amazing the amount of detail they put on some of these torsos. So you've got crease lines, we've got the hood there. One of these I think is a girl. I think it's that one. Or it could be this one, I don't know. It's hard to tell with these children ones. But this one she's wearing, he or she is wearing a a jumper. So a jumper? Oh, what they call those with the zip? Oh, it could be a jacket, I suppose. Stripy jacket, and we've got another one of these uh, woolly hats on. Right. I don't think I've actually shown so many figures in a row on any of my reviews. Ah, this is the one with the alternate face. It's a lady skier with the uh, ponytail moulded into the helmet. Yep, and she does have the alternate face. I'm pretty certain she's the only one. Nemo seems to disagree. <laughs> yes, we know you're there. And our snowboarder. Like a waistcoat, isn't it? Because he's got the white sleeves. So it's sort of almost like it's got a white top with a light blue waistcoat over the top. Or a body warmer as we would call it over here. Right, here's a dog which is exactly like the one that was in the police station that I reviewed Friday. There is nothing different with that one. It's the exact same mould, exact same face markings, exact same colour as well. Let's have a look at the uh, snowman, brick built snowman, I actually quite like him. And they do include a spare scarf, so I might make another one. I think I've got a cap, a cap, a um, top hat like that, spare somewhere. I'm sure I could find one in my uh, minifigure drawer. Right, well, that's all the figures. We know that's the brick separators, and I don't have to stay over here. Actually, well, let's do the vehicles. I was going to do that little thing there but let's stick to the order so we have a snowmobile with a little trailer and stretcher so bring it in there is a number of stickers in this set to no surprise it's quite a large set so this has only got the one sticker on which is there it's got like transparent pieces there for headlights skis this is to simulate the uh, rear track that a lot of uh, skidoos and snowmobiles have. It's quite a large one. I do like the yellow and red colours. Kind of reminds me of um, Coast Guard colours. That's what that reminds me of. Pretty simple build. It wasn't very exciting, but it looks nice. And uh, it's got this attachment that goes with it, which is the trailer with the uh, stretcher on, which has also got the skis instead of wheels. Got a little shovel on there as well, which is actually silver. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's silver. It's not grey or black. 
Got the radio there as well. I think it's the first time I've come across a silver shovel. Right, we'll pass snowmobile there. It's not the first time Lego has done snowmobiles either. I do believe the Arctic theme had uh, snowmobiles. Anyway, here's the helicopter. It's got a camera on it. I'm not sure why it would have a camera unless it's to um, film the ski slopes, maybe. Oh, I know what it might be for. Bird's eye view of those. You know, filming the skiers in competitions. Maybe that's what this is for. I shouldn't think it's for rescues. It's not quite big enough. But that was actually quite a nice build. I did like this. I'm actually finding I do like their helicopter builds, even though I'm not really big on helicopters. Yeah. Right. I do apologise for Nemo in the background. He gets like that sometimes. Gotta be heard. <laughs> so, this is my favourite vehicle out of the, in the set, rather. The yeah, little Jeep with the snow plough, which can be, you know, positioned just like a real one. And it's even got the um, marker posts on the end. If you see these on real snow ploughs, the reason they have these sort of springy antenna things on is so the driver can see where the plough is. So I can actually just pop that off. It's just on there with a little ball joint, ball and socket joint, and a couple of uh, stripey stickers on the front. So here's the Jeep. Big sticker, big sticker. Just a couple of these. It's got one of these either side. Set of ski sticks. There is a certain name for these, aren't there? But I can't remember what it is. Skis. Another silver shovel. I knew there was another one in this set somewhere. It does have opening doors. Brilliant. It's got headlights for when the plough's not on there. Then it's got these. Which you'll notice on a lot of trucks like this with a snow plough, they have extra ones. Because obviously that... Oh, not quite, but it does block it off a little bit. It's quite a nice looking truck. Again, I like the red and yellow colours. It's a nice dark blue case there. Like a tool case or something. So, yeah, I do actually quite like that. I'm not sure if that would be a tool case. It might be a first aid kit, maybe as this has got the medical symbols on it, so yeah, I'd say that's probably a first aid kit. But, uh, that was a nice build, I did enjoy that one. And, of course, it does roll nicely. But one thing I haven't tried yet is to see how easy it is to get a driver in there, so... I'm going to guess as she doesn't have a helmet, she's the one that drives this. I suppose one of the others could drive her. That was really easy, even for my uh, sausagey fingers. Plenty of room. Sweet. Thumbs up all round for that Jeep. And actually, if you wanted to, with a little bit of mods, you might be able to squeeze two figures in that. It would be a squeeze, but with a bit of jiggling around, you might manage it. So, what am I going to start on next? Well, there's not really a lot to say about that. It's Skateboarders use these. You'll find them on skate parks. You know, it's like one of them pipes that they grind along like that. And I presume that's what this is meant to be. But it's really easily made. It's got a couple of these little noodles in red. Just three round red tubes on a base. Not a lot I can say about that. This is a bit more interesting. The um, What they call the half pipe. With a big uh, floodlight on there. And I will warn you, Nemo's going to get vocal again in a minute. <sighs> There's a close-up of it. Got some steps there to get to the top. It's quite a sturdy build. It's on a big 
plate there. But I don't think I've actually come across a set with as many of these sort of inverted slopes. Like a reverse arch piece. I actually like these pieces, so I'm actually glad I bought this set just for these. Well, I didn't buy it just for those, but it would have been worth it, I think. I'm sure I can find a use for those in the future. So, this goes with, I don't know what I had at the side, it goes with that. So here's our little coffee stand and cake stand. We've got a couple of little cakes on there. Nice big coffee sign. This to me looks rather Christmassy though with all the red and green colours. We've got a menu there or a price list. Nice little tree. Around the back a pot. A couple of coffee cups. <laughs> I wish you could see me though. <laughs> you could hear him, but you can't see him like I can. Anyway. That goes with the shop, it's like a little sandwich board we call them. You'd find on the street outside shops. Not so much these days, at least not here, but some shops still have them. Apparently they've got a sale on. Mm. Right, we'll put that there. So, the sports shop. Looks really good on the outside. We've got like a, a um, screen on the top here. Probably broadcasting a sports competition, like a snowboarding competition from the looks of it. That does look like that's meant to be the uh, ramps in the background, snow ramps. I do like these sort of wooden logs they've got put on there. Which is just a little one by one round tile with a print on it. We've got a couple of uh, snowboards here, a couple of nice yellow flags. That is actually probably one of the biggest stickers I think I've ever used on a Lego set. I don't think I've used one that big. We've got the sports shop sign there with another board at the top there and the uh, an open and close or an open sign on the door with another wooden door handle there. I thought it was a nice touch. A little bit of detail with the um, Profile bricks there. On the inside, we've got two sets of skis for sale. We do, I don't know if I can actually angle it so you can see, but there's a couple of ski sticks in there as well. Some snowshoes and one of these own fluffy hats again. Cash register, helmet, and another snowboard up in this corner. Quite a lot of uh, detail on this little build actually. And these I like, never seen these bricks before. That is one piece, and there is a number of those along there. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I thought they were quite interesting. I've never seen these ones before. An interesting brick as well. I'm not sure I like this brand there. I think I would have gone for grey to match the rest of it. It just looks a bit out of place to me. Anyway, that is a Quite a nice little build. But a few modifications that would actually um, look good in my Lego City as well for an actual sports shop. Maybe. Let's stick that there. So, the biggest build of this set, and it has quite a lot of detail, in that the roof does hinge open as well, if you wish. <coughs> Excuse me. Got something tickling my throat. So there we go. Here's our front view. We've got a little lookout balcony for the um, ski patrol. Someone will stand on there with a pair of binoculars. There is a pair of binoculars included here somewhere, I think. A couple of floodlights. Got some screens here. We've got this one that looks like it's giving you the weather forecast. But I'm not sure what this is doing. It's got a green there, a blue mark there. One, two, three, I'm not sure what that one's meant to be. Ski patrol sign there and again with the wooden door knob. Uh, the top door, by the way, opens inwards, not outwards. 
smart thinking and then I don't know if you can see that I've got these funky little bricks in this corner where my finger is like a one by one brick with a nice sort of decorative modification to it and I do like that curved window at the top there as well I like a, a couple of communications dishes there on this side I've just got some tools there, I've got a broom, an axe, a spanner and a saw. There is nothing on the other side, actually there is a screen thing. I think that's a map. With Mount Clutchmore on there. I, that did make me chuckle when I first read that, Mount Clutchmore. I thought to myself, I see what you did there, Lego. <laughs> you get it? Clutchmore. There's a better view of that brick with the decorative piece on. I actually forgot we had one down there. And there's our rear view. And it's got... Ah, yeah, up here. I knew there's a set of binoculars somewhere. There's the binoculars. A couple of ice picks and a radio. On the desk we've got a computer. The obligatory coffee cup. And a cookie. And there's about it upstairs. This sort of area in here and in here is just decorative. Downstairs we've got a little bandage on the desk there, another coffee cup, another computer, and here a little lamp above a recovery bed I suppose, first aid bed. I'm guessing they bring the casualties back here and then would wait for an ambulance or a helicopter ambulance or something like that to pick up the patient. Syringe on the end there. Quite, uh, I quite like it, I like the style of this building. I'm not sure I like these sort of, uh, I'm not sure what you'd call that, like a light brown colour. I just don't think it suits the building. I think I would have stuck with this colour all the way through, so I'd use, you know, so it all match. That's just my own preference, but I don't think it still looks good regardless. And uh, I'm not sure if this was part of the design or if that's just the easiest way they had to fix that style of roof to this which has actually given me an idea for a couple of buildings in my own city that I want to do this style of roof on instead of you know using the slope bricks which I've used quite a lot of in my town um, I've actually got a house that I want to convert the roof to this style so this has actually given me some ideas on how to attach it so uh, I I don't think there's anything else I can add. I don't think there's really any negatives. I mean, there's a few things I would have chosen to do differently, but I wouldn't say that's a negative. That's just a personal preference, like the colour of these bricks. <clears throat> so all matched. It just looks a bit mismatched to me, that's all. But uh, there's a lot of playability with the set. A lot. don't know if I would say it's worth that price but I will say I got this in Argos again cheaper than what Lego's got it at I think it was £60 in Argos so if you're in the UK and you want to save a bit of money go to Argos don't know why but Argos seems to be selling a lot of Lego cheaper lately I'm just trying to bring some of this stuff back in. So this seems just... This is quite decorative to me. If I can get motivated enough, I might make like a little uh, holiday scene with that. And if I actually get time, I'm going to put the plow back on this. That's quite a sturdy plow, look at that how thick it is. <laughs> Probably one of the most sturdiest players I've actually built. Mm. Now, these two have got the um, helmets on so I presume they operate this. Oh, goggles have fell off. You lost your goggles. Here we go. Shall we try that again? So 
without losing your goggles, just park the other one behind you. There is room to put the two figures on there. There we go. You do get uh, a good number of figures with this. I think it's worth buying, <coughs> excuse me, for the figures. You do get quite a selection of figures here. You get some nice vehicles as well. And if you've got Lego City, you could actually use some of this in there. Some of this in it. You, know, you could make like a skate park with the uh, half pipe there. A shop for your city. You can always just add to the back to make it bigger. <coughs> so, yeah. A nice little set all round. It's, I'm actually glad I bought this. I wasn't too sure at first, to be totally honest. But uh, I'm really glad I did. It's a very nice little set. So, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Um, I did forget to put the links in Friday, I know. Well, I promise you, they will be in the description this time. The links to um, the channel's Discord and Facebook page. I had to stop and think of what it was called for some reason. <laughs> um, and uh, I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.